Hello and welcome to this video. This is the second part of the current project that I was working on. That is the DC electronic programmable load. Now I have made this uh, circuit on a prototyping board. And uh, if you have watched my previous video, I, you might have seen that I have tested the circuit on a breadboard. Now in this video, I have already prepared the circuit on the prototyping board and i have made a few changes to the circuit the first change is obviously i have used a, a bigger high power mosfet which is irf uh, 450 in this case but i was actually looking for the irf 260 but i couldn't find it on the local store so i have to go for the irf 450 for now then the obviously the second change is i have used a 0 0.1 ohm 5 watt resistance now this resistance is also a 5% resistance and I was actually looking for a 1% resistance but I couldn't find that so I have to go with the 5% resistance. So I uh, assume that it will work fine with the lower current values but uh, towards the higher current values I might be getting some sort of errors. But anyway I won't be measuring a huge amount of current through this electronic load. Probably I will go with a maximum of 3 or 4 amps not beyond that so for my application i hope it will be uh, quite fine if not i will uh, definitely upgrade this resistance with a better shunt resistance then the third change that i have done in this circuit is by using a dac converter in this case it's a mcp4725 so this is a dedicated i squared c DAC which actually has a 12 bit of resolution so I assume that it will be doing a much better job than the Arduino's internal 8 bit DACs now obviously if you have looked my previous video I will put a link in the card here that uh, I have actually used this I squared C ADC which is a 16 bit I squared C ADC in my previous breadboard uh, testing video also and I have got quite a good result using this. So I assume that I will be getting a fair good amount of accuracy with this circuit as well. Now uh, I have used a huge heat sink with a fan also because uh, this is going to dissipate quite a lot of power in the form of heat. So it will definitely require a fan as well. Now this fan is not a PWM control fan so uh, I was actually looking for a PWM control fan but I don't have it right now. So my future plan would be to uh, upgrade this fan as well because I have taken this fan from an old power supply unit and it's a little bit noisier so I might be thinking about uh, replacing this fan as well. But for now as of uh, testing purpose it will work pretty fine. Then we obviously have this LCD and the rotary switch which I have also tested in my previous video as well and I have used this uh, DC connector to power the circuit and for testing the load the load current will be traveling through this port. So uh, I have already flashed the uh, microcontroller with the updated Arduino code which I will be showing in a moment but before that I will be just showing you the circuit diagram. So here I have the updated circuit diagram that I uh, actually updated from the previous video. So here I have actually used the uh, DAC module which is in this case the MCP4725 to actually convert the digital to analog signal and then the analog output is fed to the op amp which actually doubles the voltage value so that I can drive the gate voltage up to 10 volts. This is fairly a simple circuit that I have made. Now these blocks actually represent the module circuit as well. So if you have the module, you don't have to actually make the detailed circuit. You just have to connect to the respective pins. So the entire module I have uh, represented inside the rectangular boxes. So here I have the final code that I have updated using the uh, MCP4725 DAC. So nothing uh, a major change here. I have actually used the MCP4725 uh, library from Adafruit and then I have declared some variables which you can uh, go through the code and these are fairly easy to understand. 
Now, in order to use the rotary switch, I have to use the uh, interrupt service routine. Then uh, we have two modes that is the current mode and the power mode so for that i have two different modes and then there are some functions for the uh, turn detect and then we have the uh, button press so that the actual values or the set values could be updated using the rotary switch so the code is fairly simple and using the lcd uh, library also i will be displaying the data values on the screen so I will put a link to the code and the schematic in the description from my website. You can download the uh, schematic and the code. And then I will be uh, going to the next part where I will be testing the code and the circuit diagram. So now I have connected the uh, power supply to the load terminal of my electronic load. Now in order to power this, obviously I have to use a different power source. So in this case, I will be using my 12 volt solar battery to actually power the electronic load now obviously I, for testing i will have to uh, set the maximum current limit of my power supply which is 5 amps and i want to test it at 12 volts and i will be definitely testing at different voltages so uh, first of all i will be testing the power mode so if i just go to power mode and then I will have to set the power that I want. So let's first test it at 0 0.1 watt or 100 milliwatts of power. So just press OK and then the start. Now this power supply has to be turned on. So uh, one after a few seconds, it will start increasing the current. So as you can see, uh, it's drawing around in my power supply. It's around 0 0.096, which is 96 milliwatts and in this power supply it's reading around 0 0.09 or 90 milliwatts and sometimes it is reading about 110 milliwatts so there is quite a little bit of error and i assume that is because of the resistance which is a five percent resistance and not a one percent resistance so now i want to test this at a little bit higher power so let's set this to one watts of power and see how much accurate it measures so here it has started to increase the power and now it's holding at one one watt roughly 1.008 watts sometimes 1.020 watt so it's fairly accurate to my application i'm pretty happy with the accuracy of this load now i want to test this at the 5 watt setting so now i have set this to a 5 watt setting and i will just hit start now if you want to uh, see a detailed video on this power supply i will put a link in the card here so you can see the detailed video about this power supply so here the current actually starts increasing and it's holding at exactly 5 watts of power now in the power mode i want to test by changing the voltage whether the current value actually changes or not because when i am at the constant power mode it should actually hold the power constant not the current not the voltage so by changing the voltage i, I should see a change in the current so i will just change the voltage to say 15 volts so now at 15 volts it's drawing around 338 milliamps now if i just change this to 20 volts it's now drawing around 255 milliamps of current and now if i further increase the voltage to 25 volts it starts drawing around 200 milliamps 203 milliamps which is exactly what it should draw now if i just reduce the voltage to say uh, 5 volt i should see a current of around 1 amps so yeah it's pretty much accurate at 1.013015 uh, like that so now i want to test the current mode of this dc load so i will select the current mode then i have to set the current value so let's start at 100 milliamps because that is the lowest value that i have set in the code so 100 milliamps then start so here it starts increasing the current and it's holding at 99 100 101 milliamps 
so it's pretty accurate and i'm getting around one percent of error in this range so i'm pretty happy with that then i will be testing at say 500 milliamps and see how much accuracy we are getting so now the current starts increasing and we are getting around 500 502 503 so it's far more accurate than i expected it to be now i would uh, check whether by changing voltage the current actually changes or not because this is in current mode so it will actually uh, regulate the current not the power not the voltage so i should see by changing the value of voltage the power should increase or decrease as per the voltage so first i will just increase the voltage to say 10 volts and it's still drawing 500 milliamps of current by changing it to 15 volts even then it's still holding the same amount of current which is fairly accurate then i will check at 20 volts as well and i am getting around 10 watts and still it's 500 milliamps of current again i will try to change at 25 volts again we are getting a 500 milliamps of current so it's fairly accurate and i will obviously test to the maximum limit of my power supply at 30 volts and see we are again getting 500 milliamps of current at 15 watts so as i increase the voltage the power also increases because it's now regulating the current and it's in the current mode so i will just press stop and then i will start with a higher current value say one amp so at one amp if i just hit start so now the current actually increases and i have set this to 30 volts so i will be expecting around 30 watt and it's exactly 30.1 30.2 watts and it's holding pretty well the current limit that is one amp so by changing the voltage i should see a change in power so at 25 volts it's again holding one amp and 25 watts of power is dissipated by the mosfet so i have now set this load at 2 amps and i will hit start so now the current in starts increasing and it's set at 2 amps so let's see what we are getting so it's holding at 1.9899 amps which is fairly accurate at this range because i am using a 18 gauge wire to connect this so i would expect some uh, voltage drop across these connecting wires so at higher currents i will be getting much more error but that is fairly obvious because of the uh, wire resistance so now i have set this at 3 amps and i will hit start so now the current starts increasing and it's at 3 amps so i'm getting around 2.8687 amps of current in my power supply and that is because obviously the wire resistance because while the voltage travels from this power supply to the load it actually drops and to my experience the the electronic load is fairly accurate so i will just use this to test my different power supplies and different power supply modules so if you just uh, like the project and if you uh, want to make your own dc electronic load you can just download the schematic and the code from my website i have link in the description so make sure to subscribe to this channel if you like my work if you want more videos like this definitely you can uh, comment in the comment section and if you want to support there is a link to support me as well so if you are willing to support that also you can too so thank you very much for watching have a nice day